What's going on, guys? This is Nov from Obesity here, True Crime Podcast, streaming live on both Facebook and YouTube. Today, we're covering the Madeline Soto case, as we did in the past in March. And this is about a 13-year-old girl, the beautiful girl you see on the left of the image right there. A 13-year-old girl who was brutally assaulted by her mom's boyfriend. And I mean bad. Stuff to the point where police had to take his phone after the factory reset it by accident and found some very disturbing photos and videos of not only just Madeline, but of others, which I have to be careful what I say because I'm streaming both live on Facebook and YouTube, so I must be careful what I say. Don't want to get flagged with the monetized, but I digress. We're talking about Madeline Soto. So on this true crime po uh, podcast, Novesity, we also cover, we also cover uh, trending topics as well, which we're going to cover the... Uh, Eclipse tomorrow, and I hope you tune in for that. I got a video uploaded straight from uh, me to YouTube, so look out for that, and Facebook as well. When talking about this case, I want you to keep in mind that, disclaimer, you know, any speculation, anything theorized is not fact, but it is a strong opinion to the, me and the audience, okay? And um, do me a favor, before we begin, hit the like, hit the share button for me, and hit the follow on Facebook if you're brand new. Also on YouTube, you guys already know what to do. Hit that like, hit that share button for me, and I would appreciate it if you subscribe. That just means hit the follow button. All right, so let's jump into these updates with Madeline Soto. Um, 911 call. Wasn't Jen? Wasn't Stefan Stearns? Madeline's autopsy. That's what people were waiting for this whole entire time. I, I was too. Madeline's autopsy. Man, it wasn't released because she's a minor? Huh? But also, additionally, it wasn't about just Madeline's autopsy. It's what they did to this guy during the transport video. Right here, Stefan Stearns. Got his transport video for you guys. I don't know you guys cannot wait to see that. And I can't wait neither. So let's, uh, let's dive in. Let's start this video. And let's better understand the autopsy updates, the 911 call. This is nuts. But I do want to start with the uh, the autopsy. I want to understand what is the deal with this? Like, what? It's because she's a my she's a minor. Like, wh what's happening? All right, so we're gonna jump into this right now. It's good to see you guys. Sorry for streaming very late. I had to shoot things for the website for the Vestity. I had to shoot tomorrow's YouTube video today for tomorrow. Excuse me. And I just had a lot of things to do for uh for for Novesity for you guys. So, sorry for the late podcast, but it's Saturday. You guys are awake. Team No Sleep. All right? After Dark with No Vestity, all right? Good to see you guys, and I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Let's watch. Closing arguments. Big, big hour. Big, big news tonight, and I want to get right to it. We're talking about the case of Madeline Soto. You know who she is. 13 years old. Goes missing the day after her birthday party. She is found dead 22 miles from home. Her mother's boyfriend locked up because of the images on his phone showing this little angel being sexually abused. Those are the allegations. So he's locked up facing those charges. No one has been charged um, with her murder. And something happened to her. Somebody killed her. And no one has been charged. I want you guys to understand that part. This is why I do this, because I want you to help me or just yourself figure this out. Can you figure this out? How is one man have all these disturbing images? And I can't say what exactly, guys. I have to respect YouTube and Facebook's policies. Don't want to get demonetized or flagged. But you know what it was. How? Can you explain to me why they cannot connect Stefan who brutally assaulted her to her murder. Did he do it? Did he do it? And if he did, why we can't connect this? Think about it. Think. Let's continue. Well, guess what? Uh, we may have some more information tonight. More information tonight related to this case. Part of the investigation, and, and, and we've heard this, is the autopsy. Cause, manner of death, everything that you find, um, the images, uh, the pictures, forensic evidence, all of that. 
the medical examiner's report such a crucial part of any investigation, but especially this one. Especially this one. She's found discarded. Obviously, something happened to her. What happened to her? Well, we've got information reporting from WFTV down in Orlando. The medical examiner's office said Thursday that it cannot release its report on Madeline Soto's autopsy. Okay, you're going to say, Vinny, that's, well, what are you telling us? You're telling us nothing here. This is nothing. This is a big nothing, right? No, 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 no. The reason why they can't release it, take a listen. Now listen closely. Remember what I told you guys. Every time we do these cases, you can find the answer, usually within the sentence. Let's see who's going to pick it up. Just like last hour, listen to every word. The medical examiner's office said the report is confidential and exempt. Confidential and exempt. Listen closely, ladies and gentlemen. From being publicly released because it involves a, quote, minor, minor whose death, death. There it goes. There it is. Was, was related, related to, to an, an act, act of, of domestic violence, end quote. The quote is from the law down there. You see that quote? Okay, so they're not going to tell you exactly about the autopsy. Obviously, she's a minor. They don't want to release it, whatever. We're going to find out. You don't have to release it. We are going to find out eventually. But listen, because it involves a minor who's Death was related to an act of domestic violence. The quote is from the law. If a minor is killed, as a result of de domestic violence, those autopsy results don't become public. New law in Florida. Yep, he's right. What are they telling us? The death is related to an act of domestic violence. Oh, we've narrowed the suspects now. We've narrowed them way down, way down. Mm. This is a big development tonight, WFTV. Now, let's go through the, the timeline once again. Um, if it's the first time you're hearing this little girl's name, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened here and what we know. It starts Sunday, February 25th. Madeline Soto celebrates her 13th birthday. Her mom unable, her mom Jen, unable to go because she was working. So she Also, the same time that happened, remember, I looked at the time of the... I, I, I enhanced that photo you saw right there. I looked at the sky... That is between the hours of that time in February, between 5 and 7 p.m. And guess what? That is around that time Sebastian Rogers was his last moments of somebody witnessing him. So this is a timeline recap of Madeline Soto from February 25th, moving until now when they... Uh, they released a 911 call, autopsy, all this other stuff. You, I mean, you kind of, you kind of gave it to us, but let's hear it so we can confirm it. She's not there. We've seen pictures. There are plenty of other people there. It's at a relative's house, um, and that's the dress she was wearing, and she was running around outside as well. Monday, February 26th, that's when Madeline Soto is reported missing. 840, Stefan Sturms, the boyfriend, the live-in boyfriend of mom, claims to have dropped her off 0.4 miles away from Hunters Creek Middle School. 430, Jen, the mom, goes to pick Madeline up, but learns that she never made it to school. And then at 8 o'clock, Jen reports Madeline missing. Next day, Jen Soto, February 27th, and Stefan Sturms sit down with WFTV for an interview Stern appears very emotional about Madeline's disappearance, claiming the worst part is not knowing. Jen this is the interview of the 27th where Stefan Stearns was crying uh, with, no, with no tears but red eyes. Uh, it, was, it was his first uh, performance he has done. 
on live television, his first acting performance. Uh, obviously, the directors didn't accept him because he failed, and now he's arrested. And this is that interview after the first interview. So let's let, let's keep watching. States the last time she saw Madeline was Sunday night, or the last time she spoke to her was Sunday night. Wednesday, February 28th, the search for Madeline. Several agencies combined to aid in this search. Over 50 members of an emergency response team are present. Later that day, Wednesday, Wednesday night now, February 28th, this was the big, big revelation. Stephen Stearns is arrested on unrelated charges, but are they unrelated? Two counts of sexual battery and possession of material of sexual performance by a child. Now... This quote, right? This, this, Stephen Stearns is arrested on unrelated charges. Now, you notice what Vinny said, and I, I want to, I want to put stress on that. And let me tell you why. I don't like it when it's like this with chicken strips. And I want to put stress on that. And let me tell you why. He was doing things to her in ways where, guys, you don't even want to know. Okay? So, what led to the moment of motive for him to do such a heinous act if he committed a homicide to her? Did, he, did she deny him? Did she push him off finally? Was she sick of it? You saw the images of her just a couple years before and now, even Floor, the interview that I gave her of the woman who lived there. She said she looked sick, stressed, she does, she does is not healthy. Stephen Stearns is arrested on unrelated charges. And let me tell you something. I, 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 always taught this, I always taught this to you guys. Just because investigators are labeling things like this, it is not definitive. You understand that? It is not definitive. Don't stick to something. Yes, that is the best route that we have. Maybe it's unrelated. Open investigation. Okay. The hard fact is that he got caught with CP on his, on his phone. That's something you accept. But foul play was an additional person? Probably. Did he, did he murder Madeline? Probably, yes. Probably somebody else. You got to keep an open mind here. Just because it says unrelated charges... These things are not definitive. It is not for sure. He probably, it probably is. It probably is. Let me tell you something. Girls get older. She gets more chores. She's going to get, she got, probably got sick of it. Let's continue watching. Uh, Bridget Smeltzer with the 800 stars. Thank you so much, Bridget Smeltzer. How are you? Thank you. Michelle Walton with the 100 stars. Thank you. Teresa M. Lord with the 100 stars. Thank you, guys. Gene with the 100 stars. Oh, my gosh. Everybody. Them, uh, Gene, oh my God, you, Facebook is popping off. Jesus. Melly with the first super chat she, right here. Melly says, hi, gorgeous Nove and gorgeous people in the chat. Coming straight out of you from Melly. Melly Belly, thank you so much. I appreciate you, Melly. How are you? Megan Ward says with the 199. Oh, she didn't say nothing. Megan Ward, thank you for the 199 super chat. I appreciate that. Appreciate you guys very much for being here. And I also appreciate... Lachelle Walton for, for joining the membership for Novicity class. Welcome to the family. That victim, we believe, is Madeline on his phone that he accidentally, he told the officers when he handed over the phone, I accidentally did a factory reset, but here you... It is her on the phone. It is her on the phone because the, the dates matched and then, you know, the updated uh, affidavit was released. It's it it's her it's her it's her it's one hundred it's her one hundred percent we saw the re we read it we cross ref we did all of it it's her it's her it's her you can take a look at it well they took a look and they found stuff Thursday February 29th police announced they believe Madeline is already dead and named Stearns as the prime suspect they believe she was never dropped off. Then they explained that Stearns was spotted ditching her backpack and school-issued laptop the morning of her disappearance. 7.35 in the dumpster in the, in the neighborhood. He's getting rid of the backpack and the laptop. Yep. They also claim that they, they, they see 
him returning in his car to the neighborhood with Madeline in there, and she's, we believe, uh, involved the um, abuse and battery and molestation of Madeline. Let's bring in our guests. Joining us tonight in Orlando, Florida, from WFTV, investigative reporter Shannon Butler on top of this story. Also with us, editor of the Osceola News Gazette, Ken Jackson, on top of this story on the ground in Central Florida. Shannon, let me start with you. Um, I want to go through 911 calls in just a second, but just to get your reaction. Are you with me on this? Um, death related to an act of domestic violence. There's only two people, there's three people living in that home, right? Yeah, it certainly narrows it down. There's no. Did you guys just hear that? Pay attention, everyone. Pay attention. We, we only got a little bit of information, but best to believe we got enough to basically try to understand what happened. But I want to say something before we continue. Guys, I, I have terrible internet. Um, if, it, if it's buffers or whatever, I didn't disconnect. Just stay. I will return. If it freezes, buffers, or anything, don't go anywhere. It'll reconnect. I promise you, okay? I promise. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, let's no question now, right, that it was someone that was that close to her. It is still unclear, though, Vinny, in the last few weeks, just who may have been in that house and when. We know that it was Stefan's turns. We know that Madeline's mother was there. We know that Madeline was there. The question is, was there anyone else there, a relative in that time period that's still a little fuzzy that even investigators are trying to piece together? But it is very clear in that autopsy now because of that medical examiner that this was definitely at the hands of somebody who knew her. Yeah, and, and Ken Jackson, domestic violence, uh, I guess it, it could be in a car. I guess that would be still technically domestic violence, but if you're dropped off in the church parking lot, a stranger doesn't commit domestic violence. No, and the story all along has been that, well, first it started out that, that Jen Soto uh, and Stephen dropped her off, and then the story changed to, well, Stephen took her. Um, you know, a, de a defense attorney is going to hammer away on, you know, because we had the birthday party the day before, that okay well there's there were other people that were around the day before but yeah like i said the word domestic that narrows it down to anybody who lived in the house and we don't have any evidence that there was anybody else other than stephen um and jennifer the mom so so like shannon said yeah this this narrows it down and you know the you know florida has some of the most broad uh, uh public records laws in the country that's why i thought we would get at least a uh the redacted version of the of the examiner's report. I guess we're we're not going to. Um, so so yeah, but we we've got it we we've got it narrowed down. All right, let's listen now. Also, nine one one calls. Let's take a listen to the first one, and then I want to get your analysis based on everything that we know, what we learned from this call. Let's listen. All right, guys, we're gonna listen to the nine one one call. It's about to start right now. Do me a favor. Um, Lachelle, you asked a good question. Lachelle said that did they collect Lachelle Walton says did they collect samples of the carpet, the the all that other stuff, the sheets? They didn't need to because it already linked by the photos. The photos he took linked for the objects around the house, and two of them were inside on, on the photo well, on the photo or video that Stefan took. Sick, sick man, sick, 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 very sick, very, very, very sick. So they had enough to incriminate him. Because the videos and photos was already enough to, to, to criminalize him. You know what I'm saying? To, it's proof enough to, for him to get all those 60 charges. De definitely, 100%. Uh, Nana, lovely, with the one that says, you have my, my notice and reasoning in your mail. And reasoning in your mail. Noticed and reasoning. I, uh, is it the P.O. Box you're talking about? Lachelle Walton, thank you for the 100 stars. Gene, thank you for the 30, 20, 36 stars. Appreciate you guys. Uh, so you guys are asking very good questions that I would have never thought. I thought someone else, such a memorial mind. I think I'm saying Jennifer could have been jealous and walked in on them, says JPL. Really? 
Really? I didn't hear that that theory. Wow. She was jealous, so she walked in. So, okay, so basically, hold on, hold on. Nana says, motives and thoughts, the angry face. It's in the details. So I'm glad you said that, Nana, because I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to talk about. You can, you can know some of these things with context clues. They don't say nothing, but the statement they give to the press and they give it to us, you know, kind of, so domestic uh, uh, violence. So, so I, I want to take a step back before we hit this 911 call. I'm not going to talk your ears off, I promise. If they said that domestic, what is it? Domestic, where was it? Minor whose death was related to an act of domestic violence. Someone she knew, ladies and gentlemen, around her, around her, okay? It's around her. Could have just been Stefan. That clue already signifies that, hey, like, that, that probably, Stefan has something to do with this. And then some of you would th believe that Jennifer Soto has something to do with this. You guys are like, no, no, we don't believe her. She must have knew something. Now, I must say something, and I'm going to always stand by this. One, it's not even a red flag. This is a major alert flag. You cannot see your daughter get dressed at 8 a.m. and contradict every single timestamp that the police had on camera. 8 a.m., you saw her get dressed, but 7.35, Stefan throws that stuff away. And at 8.15, he's already working his way back from where he took that body? No, 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 no. That, that statement will forever stay with me, Jennifer Soto. I will never understand that. And I defended you at the beginning. But that statement, I will never understand that from you. I have never, that's probably one of the biggest flags I have ever ran across since Brian Laundry. You got, I, 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 I don't know what to say about that. I don't know. That's 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 a bit much. That's that's too much. That's a major alert flag. Forget red. Cheryl Johnson. What's up, Cheryl? How are you? She says under the law, I say it's considered domestic violence. Uh, as is physical and emotional abuse. Mom and Stern could be both implicated. Possibly. I mean, I'm. Hey, Cheryl. I'm waiting just like you to hear something from Kissing Me Police. I am waiting. I am waiting. Trust me. And well said, Cheryl. Well said. You guys are intelligent today. What's going on today? Everybody's on their P's and Q's today. Good super chat. Very good super chat. All right, here we go, guys. 911, what's the location of your emergency? And do you need police, fire, or medical? Uh, police, possibly. I'm reporting a missing child. Okay. And the child that you're trying to report missing, are you calling on behalf of the, of the parent? Yes, yes, on behalf of the mother. She's like, okay. Okay, and then so, and ma'am, how old is the child? She's and could I go ahead and get her name? Yes, it's I don't know why they do this. If we know the time, let me shut up. I, I, uh. And is she white, black, or Hispanic? She's white. Okay, blonde, and dirty blonde hair, blue eyes. Okay, hold on with me here. And then, what color shirt and pants was she last seen wearing? Um, hold on, let me ask. Then, um, what color shirt and like what was she last wearing? Hold on, uh, we're finding out. Okay, and then how long has it been though since you guys have last seen her? Please give me the clothes. Give me the closed information. This is very important. Since this morning, she was dropped off um, at school this morning, and apparently she never showed up. We called um, everyone we knew, no one seen her. Okay. And then, so, ma'am, I just want to confirm, though, was she last seen from this address? Oh. Is this where you guys last saw her? No, 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 no. Um, she was last seen at the church next to Hunters Creek Middle School. I think it's called Peace Church. I'm not sure of the exact address. Uh, she was wearing a dark green hoodie, I believe. What is the name of the church? Uh, I think it's called, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's called Peace Church. It's the one right next to Hunters Creek Middle School. It's the, well, no, no, no. Got it. It's across the street from it? 
Um, I, I believe so, yeah. There's, there's two. I just forgot about the other one. It's not Focal Point Church. It's, um... Well, is it Peace United Methodist Church? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. It's that one. Okay, is she diagnosed with any medical mental conditions at all? Um, I know she takes medication for ADHD. Okay, Shannon, I'll start with you. What are you hearing in this call? What what um, strikes your interest? What do you what do you think is significant here? Let me give my two cents before she does. Number one, why are you calling behalf of the mother? That's the first thing. I what are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? What are we doing? I'm gonna ask all the mothers, even out there, the fathers. If your child is missing. And it's been hours. Are you going to call 911 for your child? Or you're, you're just going to call a random girl who we don't know? Who is that? That's not Jennifer. That is not Jen. That is not Jen. Who was that? Was that the sister? You, why are you calling for a child that's not yours? Could have been that someone that Stefan knew. I don't know. But last time I check, you know, I would call 911 immediately for my baby. I don't, I don't understand. And you can hear her talking to someone. So you waited till your sister to get there. You went to go pick up your daughter. She's not there. I would have called. Hey, did you pick up? Blah, blah, blah. The sister's like, no. No. What? Grandma? No. What? Stefan? No. What? Nobody got her. I would have called 911 immediately. Who's calling 911 for her? Because she sounds like she's next to someone. You waited till you was next to you, your sister, probably, your friend, to call 911. You should have. I don't know. Beautiful Jeanette with the 1200 stars. Says, hey, boo, always looking good. I hope you <laughs> I hope you ate something. I have been eating good for the past three days. I'm actually proud of myself. I, I kept my promise with you guys. So, yes. Thank you, Jeanette. I appreciate you. Thank you for asking. You do and always keeping us up to date. Let's get involved. You better tell them, Jeanette. Thank you for the 1200 stars, Jeanette. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a good day, Jeanette. How are you? Thank you for that. I'm reading these comments. You guys are actually saying some myself would have called ASAP, says Lisa Marie. Absolutely. See, that's what I'm trying to say. That's, that's the point that I'm trying to say. It makes no sense. In the beginning, Jen Soto stated that she called Stefan and asked him to take Maddie to school. Mom could have done, mom could have done it and Stefan could have just arrived to Maddie on a live. Mm, I see what you're saying. She are, he arrived with her on a live. And like the mother told him, like this speculation theory, guys, not, not, this is a disclaimer, okay? Big disclaimer. And I, university, are not saying that these statements are true. Uh, mom could have done it and Stefan could have arrived to Maddie on a live. And then they both just worked with the body or something. Is that what you're saying? I think I understand what you're saying, Kim. I see what you're saying. A lot of, a lot of, I, I didn't think of that neither. You guys are thinking today. I mean, mom is pushing out some red flags that I don't understand. But calling for someone calling the behalf of your baby, mind you, that's your child, not no one else's, because you split from Tyler. I don't know. Megan Ward with the 499 says, Hello, everyone. The very sick man and getting engaged next weekend. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations, Megan. Oh, you're getting engaged. Congratulations. Melly with the 10. Oh, Melly Belly, what is... Uh, hello, everyone. What's up, Lisa Fazio? How are you? I see all my supporters over at YouTube, uh, Facebook. I see you guys. This statement of DV is very telling. DV has many definitions. Florida State's family member must reside in the same dwelling or unit with the exception of persons 
who have a child uh, who have a child in common. Hmm, I see what you're saying. So you're probably wondering, like, if you can find a clear definition to see if Jen has something to do with it. I mean, well, with that definition being said, if Jen is not in custody, we can X out that variable, can we not? They would have had her in custody, no? They, let, they, they pushed a statement to us because they know things that they're not pushing to the public. But if Jen was one of them, they would have arrested her by now. I truly believe that. Is Jen still on a radar? They better be. That, they better be. Did they cross-examine her again? They did. And they still cleared her, ladies and gentlemen. That doesn't mean that they're always right, and it doesn't mean that she is fully cleared. Everyone is still a suspect until they find who committed this homicide act to this little girl, Madeline Soto. I tell you that right now. Good super chat, Melly Belly. Good super chat. Well done. DB has many definitions on the Florida state law. Very well done. Very, very good job. Well, the first thing that struck me was just how calm the caller was. You know, you hate to judge how people react in these situations, but there's a missing child. Because of Florida law, we don't know who made the 911 call, but I've been told it is a family member, possibly uh, Jen Soto's sister. Um, I was surprised just how calm um, the caller was uh, about a missing child. That was first. Second, you can hear the same story, right? Stefan Stern's same story, that he dropped her off at that church. That was the last time uh, she had been seen. Um, so the story obviously was relayed to the family members, um, the same story that he relayed to us in that interview. How about this? One thing that I, and I want to get both of your reactions to this. The operator says, what was well, she wearing? And the caller says, Jen, what was she wearing? And then they, there wasn't an immediate answer. Like, they, did, they didn't know at that moment. That's what I heard. Yes, but correct. But my understanding, and I'll start with you, Shannon, is that didn't she tell us or tell someone that she saw her getting dressed in the morning? I am rocking it today. I'm, I'm hitting all. See, this case, I know this case from the back of my head. Ooh, and Vinny is hitting all the notes that I just said to you 15 minutes ago. She did know because she witnessed her getting dressed. Green sweater, but the you see, what the piece of information that I was waiting for, which is not in this video, I was hoping that the caller said it, but they did not. Maybe we need to edit the 911 call to hear Jennifer saying it because if Jen was to say, It would have fully confirmed her statement saying that she saw her with those jean shorts because we found her with blue long jeans. Oh, man, this case, man. God bless you, mama. was the first uh, initial report uh, to the responding deputy when they showed up was that she saw her get and uh, out the door she went to school. So, I mean, maybe there was just a delay in, in, in the answer, but uh, I think at that point, if she knew when the deputy got there what she was wearing, um, she probably knew on the 911 call too. But Ken, what I'm wondering, and, and yeah, they do say dark green hoodie a little bit later in the call, but what I'm wondering is where's the information coming from? Because the, the initial question goes right to Jen, and, it's, and there's not that immediate response. She was wearing, I saw her getting dressed, she was wearing this. That didn't happen. And I'm wondering if someone else is there, like a Stefan Stearns, filling in the details and telling the story. Yeah, it's hard to know just from hearing that. I have to admit, I didn't, I didn't uh, hear these until uh, this afternoon, so I'm still, you know, piecing it together for the first or second time. The thing about this is, these calls are on Monday. Uh, I know uh, 
WFTV interviewed her on Tuesday. So what goes through my mind now that we're a month into this is that, okay, on Monday, this would have been the first time or the first couple of times that she's been going through this story. Um, later in the week, as she was interviewed by other people, I get the sense that having done it once or twice, you've sort of rehearsed it. And so it's easier to um, relay the same story. Uh, but this was Monday. This was this was day one. So um, it doesn't surprise me that may maybe Jen doesn't have it all pieced together. Uh, you know, she she picked the she said that she went to the school at 430. Um, she corroborated the story about the church in the morning. Um, so she's pretty much on, on target here. If she indeed is standing next to whoever the, the caller is, and she's able to re relay these things. So, uh, but I, I would like to know who, who, the, who the caller is. And uh, like, because I also heard the, yeah, the, 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 green, the green hoodie comes in about two or green three hoodie. questions later. Right, and where's that info coming from? Let's listen to another call. Uh, because it, it, it seems the same woman calls back. Hi, um, I called not that long ago reporting a missing child. I just wanted to know how long the cops are going to take to get here. Okay, hold on. Let me open up the call and let's see. The call is still currently pending to have the deputies respond out there that we don't have any available deputies. We still have the call up though, holding. Okay, so, so no one's on their way yet? Not yet, no. Mm, does it take long for them to respond to the call? If there's a big emergency in the area um, and there's nobody, there's no units available, they put the calls on hold. But as soon as one becomes available, they respond to the next pressing call. Wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, we just need one here urgently. So I understand. Um, we still have the call. We still have the call holding. Y yes. Yep. We still have the call holding for them. I'll go ahead and update them with the information. All right, thank you, because this happened yeah. very recently, so we just want to get everyone here. She's been working since 8 a.m., so we want to get everything done as soon as possible to try to find her. I understand. So, Shannon, what time are, are these calls coming in? Uh, that's what we're not sure about, uh, because there you'll hear another one. There was three calls uh, made that day. It's hard to know, and we're still trying to piece together just how uh how far apart the calls were it appears these were in the afternoon uh how is that pot wait let me shut up let me shut up let me shut up let me shut up hold on real quick i'm gonna let this finish playing uh shout out to all the star senders over at facebook congratulations if you sent stars by the way i see everyone got new badges in the chat uh jeanette can you comment real quick i want to see your your comment on what you said um after they realized that she didn't show up for school some of that um, in that third call, you'll be able to kind of piece together a little bit more. But in this call, Vinny, did you see what the caller said that the last time she was seen was 8 a.m.? So is it 8 a.m.? Is it 8.30? School doesn't start till after 9. But again, there's another like time discrep discrepancy Scrapping. about when she was last seen. That caller said 8 a.m. was the last time someone saw her. Right, and someone's got to be giving her the information, the caller. Let's listen to that third call right now. They need please fire medical. No, it's not a medical issue. We, we have a missing child since this morning. We already called three times, and the police didn't show up yet. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. The police, okay, hold on real quick. I'm not going to lie. That is messed up. You mean, is it dark, guys? Hold on. Can you see my ugly face now? Is that better? Jesus, chicken strips. Okay. First of all, police. Very disappointed. If they have been calling, did she say she's been missing since this? They have been calling three times. What the hell is going on? You don't have an how, how much crime is there for for you? What is going on here? Medical issue. We we have a missing child since this morning. We already called three times. That's 
yo, everyone failed this little girl. Disappointed all across the board. Very disgusted with police. Very disgusted. Very disgusted. Kissing me, please. Very disgusted. <laughs> Unacceptable. And the police didn't show up yet. Yes, ma'am, I, I see it right here for you. Uh, for, yes, ma'am, I see it. This is waiting for a deputy to respond. They haven't, they haven't come here yet. I, I'm aware, ma'am. I see it. I, it's waiting for a deputy to respond. You're waiting for a deputy to respond? Yes, ma'am. And how long what do we need to wait? It's, it's a child missing. I understand that, ma'am, but I'm just not able to give out ETA. I, I'm, I don't know when they'll be there. So how long do we need to wait? This is an I, emergency. Ma'am, we, we have the information, but it just it, they're, they're trying to get there someone as soon as possible. So this is not important for you guys? Really? Ma'am, we are very busy in the area. Look, I understand uh, they'll be there as soon as they can, okay? Mm -hmm. That sounds like the grandmother to me. What you guys think in the chat? Do you, there's no names, there's no dead times. We don't have that information. I think that's the grandmother. Do you agree or no? I am so, this pisses me off, man. Let me tell you why I'm frustrated right now. And hearing this pisses me off. You mean to tell me, after all the money they got, resources, are you ready for one deputy? You mean that this crime happened and you got five, ten cops with one guy running around. You can't just take one cop off of your unit and just send them off to try to find this girl. We don't know if time was against. No, you would know. I would know. You would have not known if she was lifeless, right? But how she, she died. You don't know that. Time could have been against us. She, you, we don't know she could have been saved. We don't know if she passed away where she was found. This is why I'm livid right now. It's because if it was your baby girl, you would go up in arms and hire a whole SWAT team to go find your missing child. But three times, two from the sister, one from the grandmother, they got to call you? Man, I could call one of my boys from Brooklyn and they'll get down here in 30 minutes for a non-emergency. But it takes them... For somebody to call the family, try to find this baby girl, but your barnacle slow bottom piece takes how long to get there? I don't give a heck what you're doing. Responding to a crackhead in a burning building. You think, are you, what are you out of your mind? This is a child. Are you, are you, are you, are you, what? This is not me tackling the grandmother, the sister, or Jen right now. Put him to the side. I'm talking about the police. Are you out of your mind? I don't give a hell what kind of response you're giving. A ticket. Someone shoplifting. What you need to do is push priorities in your department. How about you having your computer, find out what their active duty situation, whoever's at that red code, Whoever's that blue code or green code, you sent them into a red code, which is a missing child who wish they called three times. You want to talk about responsibility and law? Well, push accountability and, and, and priority into your department. Fund that, dummy. Click. Ken, your thoughts. Oh, she, and then she hangs up. Um, I, I will say that third call sounds a little different. The voice sounds a little different than the first two calls. Other question that I have. Okay, uh, the family lived in Kissimmee. Uh, the school is in Orange County, Hunters Creek, right across the county line. Um, where were these being calls being made, like from a cell phone? And the reason I ask that is, is that I'm wondering if it was Orange County or if it was Kissimmee, uh, their call center, and who's... Uh, deputies or officers were responding uh, to this case that leads to this delay where someone calls three times. Um, and, and I'm also with Shannon trying to find out when these calls uh, took place. It sounds like it was in the afternoon after uh, Jennifer Soto had gone to the school 4.30, uh, did not find her there. She was not there at all during the day. Um, but these calls, while they 
kind of bring bring a couple of things into light also creates a couple more questions. So Shannon, as we sit here tonight, had any sense from law enforcement how close or how far away they are from charges, from uh, an arrest for the murder of this little girl? How do I answer that, Vinny? Um, I think that in a couple of weeks, we may have um, some new information on the case. Understand that this is uh, now Kissimmee Police working also with the state attorney's office, trying to go through the case step by step by step. I was told today that they are still working on what they're calling a task list. They're going down that list and checking everything off. Once that happens, they will meet again with the state attorney's office. The state attorney then will advise them on, you know, charges, if they have enough for more charges and who's going to be charged. Um, I suspect that the murder charge is taking longer for several reasons. One, you don't want to start the speedy trial unless you have what you need. Um, it's also difficult unless you have the right evidence, if you have video or somebody said, who did what. Um, if there were more people inside that house, it's not as much of a slam dunk as you would hope it would be. I know what the public thinks. I mean, I get emails every day uh, and questions every day on this case. They think, listen, it must be obvious. He was just arrested for this. But in order to take this to trial, they really need to uh, try to figure out who was in the house, who did it. Um, and what I'm not clear, though, Vinny and I wanted to get more into this this week is if Jen Soto was still cooperating uh, with the authorities. We know that Stephen Stearns is not, but is she still cooperating? She has been interviewed several times, but listen, this case is going on, what, six weeks now? Uh, it's not clear just how much she's involved in this case now. I think it's going to be some time, but I do expect some kind of update at least in a couple of weeks. All right, we appreciate both of you coming on. Big, big news tonight. Shannon Butler, WFTV. Uh, Ken Jackson, the Osceola News Gazette. Make sure you check out everything that they do. It's all online. You don't have to live in Central Florida to see their work. Thank you both so, so much. Appreciate it. When we come back, what does our think tank think about these developments? A minor whose death was related to... We are underway. ...end up with the same... I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for going off like that. I'm sorry about that. That 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 got under my skin. I gotta. I have to put a little more control, man. I have no control. I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I really, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize. It's just like no one can put officers into check. You know that teachers could put students into timeout. Parents could put children into timeout. Your officer could put you into timeout. Your commander can. But no one checks the police. No one. They Something happens, they get time off. Paid leave for a week. This, this, and that. It's rare for an officer to go to jail. Very rare. They would have to, they would ha it would have to be a, 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 an uproar. Very public. And just to hear that they took this long? You and me do not know that <sighs> you and me do not know how long you you and me don't know that she could have been saved. You don't yeah, she probably did. Maybe she was probably deceased already. But they call her the day. It happened. We time was against you. You, I'm telling you, you don't know. She could have been saved. Time is 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 an essence, people. Time is pre precious. Come on now, let's not sugarcoat it. Alexis Gardner, did you just say you are a what? I'm going to keep my, uh, breezy. Let's, 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 let's report that. Okay, breezy. Let's report that before we take care of Alexis.
Oh man. Sophie with the ten suit uh, with the ten suit. I think Jen is gullible. I think Stearns initiated told Jen what to say. Because cops will always look at the hubby for missing girl. Sophie, do you think that like he was trying to control the situation and was telling her, like, she has nothing to do with it, Sophie. Like, basically, she, like, he was kind of like Stockholm Syndrome type of thing. He was trying to control her, what to say, what to do. Thank you, Lisa Lynn. I appreciate that. Um, where's, where's, Okay. Hold on. Let's let me get the super chats and the stars. Oh, Facebook is popping off with the stars. Congratulations on your badges, everyone. Melly with the two super chat says, I am still stuck on no deputies with a missing child. Melly. Melly. You and I both, Melly. You and I, Melly. 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 Daniela says, when Jen was asked what was Madeline wearing, it sounded like Jen said, I don't know. Ooh, I'm going to look into that. Daniela, I, I, guys, do you guys want to hear that part over? I could probably try to get that video and enhance it. Let me know what you, if you guys want me to do that or no. Or should we do that at another time? Thank you for reporting that. Appreciate you guys. Uh, Texas with the 1999 says, good evening, Novin family, domestic family violence. This is all about Jen. If it was Stern, they would have ha uh, just added the charge. Very good detail. I'm glad you caught that. If so, it seemed they need more evidence, but it's Jen allegedly. So what I can say about that second sentence that if it was Jen, they would have took her into custody as well. So here's what, here's what I believe what happened in this autopsy, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let me explain it to you. They said, and this is very good, Texas. I love the way you're thinking in that first sentence. I love that. Very good. Let me explain this to you. Thank you, Texas, by the way, for the 1999. I appreciate you so much for that super chat. Color of executive, by the way. By the way, big shout out to all my executives in the chat. Even if you are one badge from Facebook, one badge from YouTube, you have both, one, one, you are considered an executive. Black on black on top with the top hat. Okay, let me explain the situation real quick. They, this is what I, this is what, how, how, I, how I look at this in, in this way. Okay. They did not give us a preliminary or a conclusive, right? Check this out. They mentioned it was domestic violence. A domestic violence abuse of some sort, right? Jen is not Jen is not taken in. Stearns has no additional charge. So with this statement from the uh, examiner, whatever they found on her body, because nobody knows, that is not even, that hasn't even been leaked. Sometimes these things are leaked. The image is leaked, but here's what I believe happened. Whatever the medical examiner found on her body, forget the toxicology, whatever he found, he linked it to domestic abuse. Could have just said abuse. You see what I'm saying? You understand that? Domestic violence. No charge for Jen, no additional charge for Stern. But they have something where they are narrowing down as in, okay, someone close is responsible for this. That's what they got. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's Jen. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's Stearns. Whoever did this to her body, whatever they found, I don't even want to know right now. I'm already in the heat of the moment. I'm pissed off. But whatever they did, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, whatever the examiner examined, what he found, they gave us such a narrow statement. Why? They could have just said someone did this, an abuse, someone beating her. They, 
They didn't say that. That's why I tell you guys, listen for word for word. The context clues is within the sentence before or after. Listen closely. Lachelle Walton with 100 stars says, eat, no. <laughs> um, I ate earlier today. I, I did. I'm not going to lie. I did. I did. I did. Melly, thank you so much, Melly Belly, for the one gifted sub. I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much. You guys are so kind today. Thank you, guys. I really don't deserve all this stuff, guys. Please, don't send no more. You guys are good. I, today, I kind of slipped up with my anger, so definitely don't deserve all this stuff. Thank you, guys. <laughs> with the half a honey bun! Another one. She said, I always recall it. <sighs> Deneen K, thank you so much for the $49.99. She says, how is it called to law enforcement about a child? A missing child is not a priority? By the way, Nov, congratulations on the 28,000 followers. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you are absolutely right. Let me tell you something. Just because this didn't happen to you, if this... You know how people, I think Juanita was in the chat. She says this happened to her, where she said her daughter went missing or something like that. If this was your baby, right? If this didn't happen to you, why don't you picture it for a second? Excuse me for saying that. But picture it. Picture it. You, you, know, you, you know what I'm saying? Picture it that this happened to your child. How is this not a priority? It's what Deanna K just said. How is a missing child not a pro I would never understand that. The child is, that's what Michael Jackson said. Children are the future. Children are priority. Take care of your children. That's what Michael Jackson's been saying. This is somebody's baby. Imagine if this is your baby brother, your own child that came out of your gut. Just imagine that. These people don't. And I would never shit on cops if I have to. I don't. I applaud them for risking their life for the greater good cause. But lately, <laughs> what have y'all been doing? <laughs> because it ain't it. Called once, you didn't show up. She called. And listen, I am. I'm going to give whoever made that phone call, Jennifer Soto's sister or, or grandma credit, I am going to give them credit, ladies and gentlemen, because that would have been any that would have been any of you. You would have been calling. My mama would have, listen, if I, would, <laughs> if I was missing, I know my mama would have been like, where's my son? They called you not once, not twice, but three times. I am sorry, but you are a disgrace. A, I'm telling you to your, all in that department, whoever works there, you're a disgrace because it took you hours. Pitiful. <laughs> Get out of my face. Deanna K, well said with the $49.99. You are absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. It's a child. We're not talking about an adult now. And we're talking about a... Let me shut my mouth because I'm about to say something. Thank you so much, Deanna K. I appreciate you. Uh, DV on her body damage. She suffered from years of SA internally. Well said. Especially what... what um... Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, Cheryl. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 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 How do you join the membership? Uh, Bree Breezy just posted a link. You can on, on Facebook, you can click that link, supporter. I'd rather you do it from a laptop, computer, or your Safari browser on your phone, not through the Facebook app. Um, it's way cheaper, better. It's just better, okay? Um, that's how you join. On YouTube, everybody knows how to join on YouTube. You guys have been able to do that. Uh, for, uh, Fernandez jo uh, Josephine, she said, I would have been um, at the station getting answers, speaking to my head. Personally, I would have done the same thing. You're right. Uh, Katrina over at Facebook says, no, you're human, just like the rest of us. If you didn't care as much uh, to, to do and be involved, you wouldn't uh, have gotten upset. But you do care with, with uh, your everything. That's why we all adore you. I appreciate that so much. Katrina uh, Barnett, thank you so much. That means heavily so much. Mary Lopez over at Facebook says, if it would have been my child, I would have drove to the police station. You know what? A lot of you are saying that. And you know what? You're right about that. You're right about that. 
I would have turned, you're right about that. Absolutely. I would have had somebody at home just in case if my daughter got home, but then I would have had, I would have, yeah, I would have drove to the police station. Well said. You guys are on fire with these comments. Absolutely on fire. Jesus. Now we are here on Hickory Road in St. Cloud where Madeline Soto's body was found. And if you take a glance behind me, you see there's not really much to this road. I mean, there's a little flat land on the left, a little brush on the right. It seems like you'd be able to see something from your car as you pass down this road, but it's not a busy road. There's only been 15, maybe 20 cars that have passed by since we've been here for the past half hour or so. And also, there's no security cameras on any of these light posts. But as we continue this way, we are reminded that this actually is where Madeline Soto's body was found by this memorial set up by community advocates, family members, maybe even some friends. Because right back there in that span of trees is where her body was found by police. The murder of Madeline Soto and tonight um, getting some information reporting from WFTV involving um, the medical examiner's report. The medical examiner's office said the report is confidential and exempt from being publicly released because it involves, quote, a minor whose death was related to an act of domestic violence. That tells me this was not stranger danger. This is not a child being dropped off and walking to school and getting picked up by someone. No, 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 this is, this is uh, a, an attack, uh, a killing taking place in the house. But maybe I'm off base here. Let's bring in our think tank, see what they have to say. Joining us tonight in Cleveland, Ohio, retired judge, former prosecutor, and judicial fellow at the National Judicial College, Gail Byers is with us. Also joining us in Phoenix, Arizona, you recognize him, the attorney who represented that woman. Ugh. All right, Kirk Nurmi's with us. And in Los Angeles, California, president of the West Coast Trial Lawyers, former federal prosecutor, Nima Romani. Great to have everyone here. Uh, all right, Judge, what are your thoughts about what we are learning from the medical examiner's office? Well, Vinny, I think you are um, very correct in that we have to look very closely to the word choice that the medical examiner's office used yes. in exempting the release of this report. Yes. Um, when they not only identified, obviously, the victim as a minor, which we knew, what we didn't know is what may be connected facts or evidence to cause of death. And when they made this statement, um, pursuant to Florida statute that the cause of death may be related to a domestic violence incident, that instantly tells you who the likely suspects um, are more likely than not in this case, because we're talking about a very narrow field of individuals. Domestic violence has a very specific definition in Florida. Um, and for minors and for individuals, it's related to those who live in the house with the individual, um, parents, um, those who have children in common, or are what is called often in, um, in local parenti or acting as a parent or a guardian. Um, the only requirement for those who um, do not live together is that they have a child in common. So we know that that's not someone. What we do know is by using this term of domestic violence, we're now looking at who was at the time of Madeline's life or during her life was living in the house with her, whether it was brief briefly because the statute doesn't even put a time limit on it. It says basically any time during the lifetime of the victim. If you ever live together, then you could presumably be of a suspect of domestic violence to someone you ever lived with. And that's what is kind of a bell ringer here because we've got the mother's boyfriend that's in custody. He clearly lived in that home with that child. And we have the mother who we're not really sure what they're gonna do with her because now she's cooperating. We know for a fact that at least those two people could be suspects of domestic violence against his child. We don't know if there's someone else. And that leaves a lot of questions. And I'd be really interested to see how this shakes out um, with the prosecutor's investigation. It's going to be really interesting. But I think we kind of know who we're I, 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 I think are we're right now. Much, much closer tonight. Kirk Nurmi, do you think we're much closer tonight getting an idea? Because it seems like the medical examiner's office has perhaps finished this report because all of a sudden they're talking about the death. Like, if you're talking about the death related to domestic violence, then you probably have a cause and manner here. 
Yeah, you probably have a cause and manner, but as to follow up on what the judge just said, you also have a suspect, right? This is a limited universe when we're talking about this domestic violence provisions. We're talking about uh, stepfather, mother, close relatives, things of that nature, right? And I don't think location plays a part in it, just the relationship. So I think they have all the evidence they're using this. And, and the fact that Mr. Stearns is behind bars, he's not going anywhere. You know, we want justice at the speed of light, but ultimately it's more important to get it right in a case like this, especially when it's a capital case. So I think we're going to see the authorities moving forward, moving methodically, knowing that, you know, if they're going to charge Mr. Stearns anyway, that he's not going anywhere anytime soon. And there is indeed no rush. All right, Nima, when you have to solve a case, investigate a case, and then prove a case in court. I mean, the jury's gonna wanna know, where did, well, where did it happen? Where did it happen? It's domestic violence, okay. Is, is the home a crime scene? Is the car a crime scene? Is, is there some other place? Um, these are other very important questions um, that I think prosecutors are gonna need to answer here. Oh, absolutely, Vinny. And I think you're right. I think the home and the vehicle are likely crime scenes. And so what do we know about Stearns right now? And you touched upon all this. I mean, here's someone who reportedly lied about where he took the victim. And there's video of him apparently uh, putting her in the car and discarding items when she's already passed away. So those are two strikes. And obviously that phone, first to containing the child pornography, again, what's being reported and Probably not just child pornography, production of child pornography. In many states, and certainly on the federal level, we're talking about mandatory minimums there. And of course, innocent people, Vinny, they don't wipe their phone, right? Certainly not the day that they talk to law enforcement. This is all very damning evidence for Stearns. And like the judge said, it's a question of what did Soto know? Was she involved in all this? Was she innocent? So I think that's the big question here. But I think Stearns is looking at very significant time here, both on the child porn and the eventual charges that I think are going to come related to the death in this case. L let me ask you, Judge, domestic violence, let's, let's just take a leap here and presume that it's Stefan Stearns. Is it reasonable to believe that Jen Soto could be completely oblivious to years of the abuse and then, and then a act of domestic violence that takes the life of her daughter? Could she, could she have no idea any of this was happening? I think any mother, um, and I think that's perhaps what, what jurors will, will look to if this is a jury trial and if there's a, a trial to the bench, trial to the judge, they would be thinking, you know, what mother isn't in tune to their prepubescent daughter who doesn't have their finger on the pulse, understanding that their body's going through changes, they're always hormonal, they're going through changes. And so to come to the reality that your live-in boyfriend has been um, assaulting, sexually assaulting your child for an extended period of time, and the idea that the mother has no clue whatsoever means you have absolutely no relationship or connectivity, presumably, to your child. And so I think from a logical standpoint, you're going to have maybe jurors or any trier of fact that's going to find that to be pretty incredible, which may also explain why she's cooperating. Yeah. Um, it might have a lot to do with why she wants to maybe get in front of this because, Vinny, you know the rules. I was a prosecutor. The first to squeal gets the deal. So if there's any way to save yourself, you might want to pipe up now. And I, I just always hope that a parent whose child has been murdered would cooperate, period. Anything and everything you need to know, I'm here to help you. Um, but anyway, good news. Assuming you had nothing to do with it. Well, exactly. I like, I, that's what I always want to presume that the, the parent has nothing to do with it. We'll see. We'll stay on top of it. Think Tank stays with us. Up next. The defense attorney for the. All right, let's go back to the video. And I want to show you guys was what did she say in the close? And then let me know what you all hear in the audio. Okay, so we're going to go play this. What did, was this Jen and what did she say? Everyone, let's, let's listen and put your AirPods in, earbuds, your Beats, whatever you have. 
listen up very closely. I'm going to raise the volume up. Am I going to edit it? Eh. But let's see, because I have a couple of videos to show you. I got the transport video of Stefan Stearns and another video of Madeline. Uh, but before I do, we have almost 400 people over at Facebook. Uh, we only have 40 shares. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's bad. Um, if you guys could hit that share button for me over at uh, Facebook, that would mean a lot. Share it to the Madeline Soto groups. Share it to a friend. Share it to your personal page as well. Uh, share it to your Twitter. Tag. Tag me. Share it. Share it. Share it to different places to get around. Be like, write a post. Hey, guys, this is nuts. Uh, tag one of your friends, your sister, your mom, who enjoys true crime and talking about cases, sometimes investigation or trending topics. YouTube, we are at 410 likes. Let's get those likes up. If we can, I would appreciate it. Thank you guys for spending some time with me late, late after dark with Novesity, myself, Nov, at 121 a.m. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Let's continue this. Uh, re today's going to be a short podcast, FYI. Um, let's listen to this. Let me know what you guys hear, okay? Thank you for all the shares, everyone. Uh, I would, I, whoever shared, thank you so much. Breezy with the 100 stars says, uh, I would have called back and reported the incident with a... Damn. They showed up for those. And then be like, about my missing... Damn. Damn, Breezy's like, nope, I would have... Uh, damn, Breezy. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 stars, Breezy. I appreciate you. Analysis based on everything that we know, what we learned from this call. Let's listen. 911, what's the location of your emergency? And do you need police, fire, or medical? Uh, police, possibly. I'm reporting a missing child. Okay. And the child that you're trying to report missing, are you calling on behalf of the, of the parent? Yes, yes, on behalf of the mother. She's like, okay. Okay. What did she say? She's here, so she was there. See, this is the little things you got to listen to. Of the parent? Yes, yes, on behalf of the mother. She's like, oh. She's here. She did say that. See, she's here. Okay. Okay. And then, so, and ma'am, how old is the child? She's 13 years old. And could I go ahead and get her name? Yes, it's Madeline Soto. You can tell because she ended with the mm, she started with the mm sound before it cut off. Well, we know that. Johnny Jones became a supporter over at Facebook. Facebook. Can we welcome Johnny Jones in the chat? Say, Johnny, welcome to the family. You just yeah, he, uh, he just described. Enjoy your perks, priority, Johnny. Enjoy your badge growth. Enjoy your discount for merch coming out in a week and a half. Enjoy the group chat. Enjoy the secret lives. You have a lot of perks when you become subscribed. Enjoy. And is she white, black, or Hispanic? She's white. Okay. Blonde, and dirty blonde hair, blue eyes. Okay, hold on with Guys, I'm gonna bump up the volume. If it's too loud, let me know. Be like, no, if you need to dial that down, brother. Let me know. I'm gonna bump up the volume, okay? All right, now it's Max. That's Max. All right, we're good. Me here, and then what color shirt and pants was she last seen wearing? Um, hold on, let me ask. Here it is. Here it is. Then, um, what color shirt and like what was she last wearing? Right there. What the heck did she just say? Then, um, what color shirt and like what was she last wearing? Hold on, uh, we're what you see this is the most guys let me tell you why this is important i need to explain to you why this is important we only have one initial statement for what she was wearing if jen if jen if she says she i just need to hear her say her bottom piece the green sweater we know she says that but what did she say? I, like, I can't... Hold on. Yo, I'm about to just edit this, honestly. Let me ask. Then, um, what color shirt and, like, what was she last wearing? Hold on, uh, we're finding out. Okay, and then how long... Wait, but she said... 
Wait, what? Um, what color shirt and like what was she last wearing? Hold on, uh, we're finding out. Okay, and then how long is it? Hold on, uh, we're finding out. Jen, I'm confused because you saw her. You saw her get dressed, Mama. Jen, that doesn't make any sense. It, does it matter what we hear? Because how can your sister say, hold on, we're finding out. But Jen, you saw her get dressed. Listen to the initial question asked. If you said in your statement, I saw her get dressed at 8 a.m., you know, Jen, that's that's a bit strange. Jean Santi, welcome to the Novicity Nation. Enjoy the perks. We're finding out. And, um, what color shirt and like, what was she last wearing? <laughs> She said, I don't know, at the beginning. I think that's what I heard. I'm going to bump up the volume 17 more percent, okay? Actually, that was 27 percent. Damn. It's going to be a little loud. Hold on. Let me ask. And, um, what color shirt and like, what was she last wearing? Hold on. Uh, we're finding out. She says, I don't know, but I'm, but I'm finding out. That's what she said. And um, what color shirt and like what was she last wearing? Hold on, uh, we're finding out. Okay, and then how long has it been though since you guys have last seen her? Since this morning, she was dropped off um, at school this morning, and apparently she never showed up. We called um, everyone we knew; no one seen her. Okay, and then so, ma'am, I just want to confirm though, was she last seen from this address? Oh. Is this where you guys last saw her? Slow it down. Okay, Craig, that's that's not a bad idea, Craig. Let's see. Christina Farley, yes, we see your comment. It's been though since you guys have last seen her. Since this morning. Oh. Then, um, what color shirt is Thank you for all who shared on Facebook. Christina, thank you for the 18 stars. And is she white, black, or Hispanic? She's white. Okay. Blonde and dirty blonde hair, blue eyes. Okay. Hold on with me here. And then what color shirt and pants was she last seen wearing? Um, hold on. Let me ask. And, um, what color shirt and like, what was she last wearing? Hold on, I work fine. She said, I don't know. Da 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 da. She said, I don't know. That's what she said. I don't know. Da da da. I don't know. Something like that. It's, I don't know is the first words. I'm I'm like eighty percent sure on that. Oh, she says, I don't know twice. I think I heard that. I don't know. Something, something. I don't know. That's when the sister said, then, um, what color shirt? I'm going to bump up the volume, guys, and I'm going to slow it down just a bit more, okay? Bumping up the volume one last time, slowing it down. Here it goes. And what was she last wearing? Yeah, she says, I don't know twice, but in that middle section, I don't know what she says. I don't know. Something, something. I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you guys. She does sound worried. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. She's not crying, but she does sound worried. She says, 
hold on at the end. Oh, hold on, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I think is. I don't know. I think. Is, I don't know. I think it's hold on. Oh, no. I think it's hold on. No, I, no, it's not hold on. Hold on is too sir. Hold on. Dun 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 dun. Look at the visual cues. I gotta edit this. I, I can see to my visual cues that it will the lines. Anytime this you hear that tip ick it those things, a line will jump up. It's a cue that so you'll pick up to pick it, it's it, if it, 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 you know, those pick up. So I did, 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 no. So she's, 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 she's saying she doesn't know. She's saying she doesn't know. Hmm. Hold on, uh, we're finding out. Okay. Even if so, though, I don't understand that. If you saw her, she, she, like if I was her, I would have said I would have last. She meant just a green sweater. Okay. Listen, listen. And then how long has it been, though, since you guys have last seen her? Since this morning. She was dropped off um, at school this morning, and apparently she never showed up. We called um, everyone we knew. No one's seen her. Okay. And then so... Call this. Wait, what? You know, no one's seen her. She never showed up. We called um, everyone we knew. No one's seen her. Want to confirm, though, was she last seen from this address? Oh. That's where you guys last saw her? No, 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 no. Um, she was last seen at... The church next to Hunters Creek Middle School. I think it's called Peace Church. I'm not sure of the exact address. Hold on real quick. Cheryl just said, see, I told you Facebook. I know I say a lot of super chats for YouTube, but stars, you guys are thinking Facebook. Look what Cheryl just put on her, her stars. I'm going to read in just a second. Lady C says, I don't know. I didn't see them or see her. How can she say that? Hmm. I'm going to listen to that, Lady C. If she said that, that's bull crap. Look at what, look at what Cheryl Johnson said. Listen, listen, look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Let me put this over here real quick. Look, 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 look what she put. She put, Cheryl Johnson said this. Just ask your boyfriend. He dropped her off. Exactly. 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 Well said. Well said. Exactly. Christina Pagan with a thou wow. She says, keep being awesome. Christina Pagan, thank you so, 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 so much for the thou wow. Appreciate that. How are you, Christina? Hope you're having a good night. Cheryl Johnson said, just ask your boyfriend. He dropped her. Let me play that one more time. Just ask your boyfriend. He dropped her off. Well said. Well said. Uh, she was wearing a dark green hoodie, I believe. What is the name of the church? Uh, I think it's called, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's called Peace Church. It's the one right next to Hunters Creek Middle School. It's the, well, no, no, no. It's Got it. It's Hunters across Creek the Middle street Middle from it? Um, I I believe so. Yeah, there's there's two. I just forgot about the other one. It's not Focal Point Church. It's um. Well, is it Peace United Methodist Church? Yes. Yes. yes okay. It's that one. Okay. Is she diagnosed with any medical mental conditions at all? Um, I know she takes medication for ADHD. Okay, Shannon, I'll start with you. What are you hearing in this? 
Now, I want to jump into the, uh, what should we do? The new video of Madeline Soto, should we? Yeah, we should look at the new video of Madeline Soto. All right, let's listen now. Also, 911 calls. Let's take a listen to the first one, and then I want to get your analysis based on everything that we know, what we learned from this call. Let's listen. 911, what's the repeat? So this was the initial first one. Okay, I see what's going on. All right. Now, the video that people wanted to see with Stefan Stearns in a car, do you guys want to see this? Are you guys ready for this? Stefan Stearns in the car getting booked. Facebook, you want to see this Facebook? YouTube, you guys want to see this? Tarin, Tarin Howie, thank you so much for joining. Everybody's joining the family. Another one. Appreciate you. If you join Novicity Class membership, welcome, welcome, welcome. I want every member to say welcome to these people. So if somebody a supporter on Facebook joins, Facebook, say, say welcome to the family. People at YouTube, say welcome to the people. Welcome, welcome. They all turn in green, acting mean, and they all part of the nation. Enjoy your badge, your perks, priority. All right, let's watch this. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. I thought there was audio here. Oh, there is audio. Okay, we're good. As this plays, everyone, remember you can send DMs to me on Facebook or Discord. I am officially creating a second email address in which you can send any information from. Coming very soon. Very soon. Right, I'm going to make it warm for you, okay? You're welcome. Can you feel that? Okay. Remember, guys, hit that share button for me, Facebook. Facebook, hit that share button for me. I would appreciate that. Look at him looking at the camera with that attitude. Who you think you are? Look at him. Look at him. Oh, that pissed me off. Look at him. Who you think you are? Look at him. Oh, I'll pop him. Oh, let me shut up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta be careful what I say. Oh, oh, oh. We must be careful. Yeah, like who who are like no. He's still looking at the camera. You're such a creep. Look at him. You're the one that committed the crime. How you recorded your own crime? You recorded your own crime. You recorded your own crime. You got yourself in trouble. How's the temperature feel? Better than it was. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't show him no kindness. What is up with this? What do you mean? How does the temperature feel? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? 
You want to cater to my taxes that pays that car to make him feel warmth? Unacceptable. No. I don't care what it feels like in that car. Don't, don't know why they don't do that. You know, why don't, why don't they just kind of like at least give you a blanket? Give him a blanket? Yeah, my core temperature was down. They took it. It was like a degree or two lower than it should have been. Wow. Like regularly sleeping on bare metal. The first night I was on the concrete floor with the raw toilet paper for a pillow. Nothing else. Wait, what? Wait, what did he say? Sleeping on bare metal. The first night I was on the concrete floor with the raw toilet paper for a pillow. A roll of toilet paper for a pillow on con concrete floor? Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. They had him s first night. I was on a concrete floor. Roll of toilet paper for a pillow. Oh no. Oh. 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 They, they had you sleeping like that? No blankie with the with the with the concrete on the floor and the toilet paper on the as a pillow. Oh, step and sons. Oh, nothing else. Begging for a blanket with pad to sleep on for like two days. Wait, what? Begging for a blanket with pad to sleep on for like two days. Begging for a pad. Supposed to do something like that. <coughs> that sounds rough, man. <coughs> Please forgive my cough. This cop is like so kind. I'm not giving him crap. I'm I'm not. Obviously, I'm not. But I'm just saying he's he's just. This officer, he's like, he's kind. I, I, I do, like, even under what the guy did, he's calm. Yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty sure. I think he knows what he does. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. But he's, you know, I, I must say, let's be mature for a second. You know, even after what Stefan Stearns did, the cop is still a good human being, ladies and gentlemen. You, there's a difference there. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? He's still, a, so I'm not, I'm not mad that he's bringing him comfort. Or anything, he's trying to, you know, ah, you know, by him not doing that, it doesn't make him human. He feels, he's in motion. So I'm not mad at the office, the the, uh, the officer here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know. So if the guy, if the officer wants to be kind, let him. You know, that's. I wouldn't be mad if he did or he didn't. Does that make sense? I'm neutral in the situation. Sandra with the 49 says, Hi, Nov, Melly K, uh, Melly K, Cole, Breezy, Nova City fam. I always look forward to seeing y'all. Uh, they should. Uh, put creepy stuff in, in Rikers Island. Oh, Rikers Island? Sandra, he would not make it. Come to New York City. Come over here, Stephen Stern. Come to Rikers Island. I, I dare I, I would love to. Oh, my God. Sandra Cruz, well, good super chat. He wouldn't survive. I've been trying to get rid of it for the past, like, two or three days. And prior to that, I had a really bad cold. And I always found that. You know, I, I like those, man, but have you ever tried the berry ones? The recall of berry? Phenomenal. The recall of berry ones, um, they almost taste like candy. Yeah, you gotta be careful. The honey ones are the same But once you get to the middle part, it's 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 rough though. Cause like it, it, it's got a punch. You're talking about the ones that have like the, the, it's like a like a gooey uh, menthol inside of it. So you haven't had the ones that have like the, the the gooey part in the inside. Those those are good until you bite into it and you're like, whoa, like it's a it's a burst of like menthol. Yeah, it is. It is. I just got the regular Hall's cherry. It's what I find at 7 Eleven, so. Really? 
I can't get my kid to drink medicine. I gotta like mix it in his orange juice. For real, I gotta, I gotta like literally like here yeah, drink drink orange juice because it's good for you. It's vitamin C and you know because he will not. He'll literally like not drink his orange his medicine like at all. They're not too tight, are they? Yeah. You're welcome. You feel your body get back to a normal temperature? Sir, what kind of music you like? You like classical music? Huh? You're, you're the first person that's ever said classical music. Yeah, classical. Like what? Like like give me like a like a classical song or or You're the first one. I've never had anyone tell me classical music. And I actually like classical music. I'm not gonna lie to you. This will be very difficult for me to have a conversation with someone who essayed uh a child. That would be hard for me, not gonna lie to you. And uh, other little children that we don't know of, especially what was on his phone. Again, I am not giving this law enforcement officer any crap. I'm not, ladies and gentlemen, chill out. If I was, I'll tell you, but I'm not, I'm not. It's either this officer just doesn't know he's just transporting him, or he does know, but personally, like me, me, if I had to transport him, no, just no. Like I'm, I'm not. I can't. Cause, and I'm surprised he brought up his son, a child, another one. You know, I just cannot. I can't talk. To, what kind of music you like? I care about what music you like, bro? Sit there, shut up, let's go. Like I, I could. I mean, maybe he's a better human than me. Is just I take no pity for. Her someone who kills children especially someone who well especially to both someone who committed a homicide act to a 13 year old girl after her birthday and try and just dumped her body like it's just like just rocks i fall could never i do i've never been to like like a like an orchestra or like like a like a like a like a concert like that? I've never been to one. Yeah. You're actually right because let's say let's say a, like a it's not it's not a newer it's not a newer song but let's say November Rain right by Guns N' Roses. What Slash does with the guitar towards the end of that that whole track, he literally makes that guitar cry like. It's one of those moments where you're like, wow, wow. Yeah. 
last one. I like Metallica. Metallica is my all-time favorite. Queen is yeah. I haven't seen their their that that latest movie with like like the 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 guy that the. Uh, was on the sitcom. I haven't, I haven't seen the, the Queen movie yet. Nico, thank you. Thank you, Nico. Let's go, Jack. I even like Lincoln Park. Right now, right. Well, he, he followed on the same lines as uh, um, this guy from uh, Soundgarden. Um, I forgot his name. Um, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And then when he went over to Audio Slave, you ever heard Audio Slave? I mean, Audio Slave came out with like one album and it, 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 they just crushed it, crushed it. <laughs> but classical music, wow. You know, the one type of music I never got into was country. I just can't relate to it. I grew up in the city, so not much that I can relate to to driving a tractor and stuff like that on some of the songs that I've heard. You grew up on a farm? Yeah. Wow. Hold on real quick. I know all you guys are sending me emails right now. I just got like a buttload of emails. But I, I would, guys, I said I'm creating an email for people to submit things to me. See, my channel on Facebook and YouTube is growing crazy. Y'all. Facebook, we just gained four and a half thousand followers in five days. That's that's ridiculous. So my my messages are right now as of today, uh, unread. Hundreds. I woke up with hundreds. So. I'm creating an email uh, dedicated to cases that I cover on true crime, whether it's old or new, or even when I submit videos, like the Eclipse video that I will be making tomorrow. Show your opinion. That's perfectly fine. But novesity at gmail.com is strictly for business. I will put an info of novesity for you to share information that's coming like in just a few days, okay? So novesity is for business only. And I want to talk about Danielle or her super chat right here. She said, notice when the sheriff talks about his son to Stefan, look how Stefan stared smiling happy towards the sheriff. I did see Stefan turn when he talked about his child because when like, like I can't get my son to take medicine, you know, it's, just, it's, 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 it's an act of love. It's, it's, that's a loving, caring thing. That's, that's a slap on the face for him. I, I saw that, Danielle. I, I did see him kind of like do... Yeah, I, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Melly, again, Melly. Rikula called and said, please, don't involve them. Right, Melly. Oh, my gosh. Melly, I'm going to punch you. You stupid thing. <laughs> oh, Melly, Melly. Julie Shank, my husband used to transfer prisoners. Never knew 
what they did. I just think there is no way he knows and talk about his kid. Julie, that's interesting. Oh, so I guess I, I got that right. Hmm. Thank you, Julie, for that information. I appreciate you. See, this is what I like. This is important. I want you guys to tell me this type of stuff on stars on Facebook or Super Chats. Kathy, thank you so much. Kathy Davis on Facebook with the 500 uh, stars. Thank you so much, Kathy. Appreciate that so much. Tess Johnson with the 100 stars says, uh, what the cop should have done was turn the heat up to the max. Oh, damn. Tess, damn. You crazy. That's crazy. You're crazy. Taryn with the 14 says, enjoying your channel from South Africa. All right. South Africa in the house. That's what I'm talking about. Love that. Let's continue this. Uh, let's continue this. So tell me, you know, Dozen stones every day. Ten to eleven year old kid. Oh, it's pushed away around this dumpster with a ramp that we pushed the blue girls from the first blue pump into. And so we pushed it in. A girl tipped over and took me right with it into the dumpster from the first blue. There's nothing at Luckily, it's just mostly grass and hills, so it's nothing. But it stinks. Yeah, it did this why did you work there? Was it like your, your family's farm? So you're from Georgia? Um, See, I, grew, I, I was born in Puerto Rico, and then I was raised in Boston. So, hey, it was. I mean, I, I didn't grow up in Puerto Rico because I, I, my mom left there when I was two. And uh, I grew up more in Cambridge in, like, Boston area. So that was, like, a big city, you know, projects. And, and that's... It's interesting, uh, interesting locals. <laughs> It's, it's, it's definitely different. Definitely different. And then I moved down here, so. <laughs> San Diego area? California is nice. I've been there uh, twice. I've been there twice. Weather's always very nice. I lived there for a So once we get here, I got to go into the interview room and I got to do the uh, arrest affidavit. Um, Ooh. Basically. Ooh, so he does know. Wait. I have two, two warrants, so I'll let you know what those are. Ah. Uh... So they're transferring him now.
Thank you for watching. Okay, we just guys. want you to know um, we're behind you. Yeah. And that we support you. Okay, okay. Um, so, this is a piece of article that I want to show you guys uh, real quick. Get this out of my face. April 4th. This is the last known update, ladies and gentlemen. That was just a few days ago. And it's the medical examiner's office announced that the autopsy report in Soto's death couldn't be released due to the uh, state statute deeming it confidential. In addition, audio from 911 calls involved in the case was released by the Irish County Sheriff's Office. In the 911 calls, two different voices can be heard speaking. So you guys nailed it. Two different voices. We wouldn't do that. I believe it's a sister and a grandmother. The Sheriff's Office explained that the caller's identities are confidential under state law. But we can kind of assume the 911 calls have been combined and can be listened to the audio player below. 911, what's the location? Oh, this is the full 911 call. This is nine, 10 minutes, nine minutes? What? Oh, this is almost nine minutes. Is this the full, this is the full version? I found it? Ooh. Hold on. You guys want to, I mean, we don't have to listen to all of it. We would, hold of your on. emergency. Hold on, let's. Um, it's. And is there a specific apartment number, ma'am? Uh, and do you need police, fire, or medical? Uh, police, possibly. I'm reporting a missing child. Okay. And what is the name of the business there, ma'am? The business? Um, Nine. Okay. And the child that you're trying to report missing, are you calling on behalf of the of the parent? Yes, yes, on behalf of the mother. She's okay. Okay. And then so and ma'am, how old is the child? She's and could I go ahead and get her name? Yes, it's And is she white, black or Hispanic? She's white. Okay. Blonde and hair, dirty blonde hair, blue eyes. Okay. Hold on with me here. And then what color shirt and pants was she last seen wearing? Um, hold on, let me ask. Then um what color shirt and like what was she last wearing? Hold on, uh, we're finding out. Okay. And then how long has it been though since you guys have last seen her? Since this morning, she was dropped off um, at school this morning, and apparently she never showed up. We called um, everyone we knew. No one seen her. Okay. And then, so, ma'am, I just want to confirm, though, was she last seen from this address? Oh. Is this where you guys last saw her? No, 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 no. Um, she was last seen at the church next to Hunters Creek Middle School. I think it's called Peace Church. I'm not sure of the exact address. Uh, she was wearing a dark green hoodie, I believe. What is the name of the church? Uh, I think it's called, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's called Peace Church. It's the one right next to Hunters Creek Middle School. It's the, well, no, no, no. Got it. It's across the street school. from it? Um, I, I believe so, yeah. There's, there's two. I just forgot about the other one. It's not Focal Point Church. It's, um. Well, is it Peace United Methodist Church? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. It's that one. Okay, is she diagnosed with any medical mental conditions at all? Um, I know she takes medication for ADHD, and I think that I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. Sorry, bear with me here. 
And is she known to carry anything on her person, like a pocket knife, a pepper spray, anything at all like no, that? No, okay. no, nothing like that. Does she have a cell phone that she might keep on her person? She doesn't. She had one, but she left at home conveniently today. Okay. Okay. Of course, she left the friggin' phone the day that she needed it. Could have pinged her location. And ma'am, what is your name? My name is... Wait a minute. I could find out right now that's the sister. Whoever edited this, whoever edited this is terrible. The person would leave the first letter. You get it? So when Jay said, who's the girl? She said, mm, and then cut it. Madeline, Madeline. So she said, hold on. And what is your name? My name is... L What's the sister's name? Jen, Jen Soto's sister's name. L L kind of got that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And just so we recognize you when we arrive there, though, at the advance to come meet with you guys, are you, ma'am, white, black, Indian, Asian, or Hispanic? So, I'm Hispanic. And what color shirt and pants will you be wearing? Uh, pants, dark wash jeans. Uh, I have a green cardigan on and a white shirt. Thank you. And I just need to verbally confirm this all with do you have any at all weapons on your person? No, I do not. Okay. All right. And are you going to be waiting for us inside? Um. Yeah. Uh. I'll probably I'll come outside. I just to see through glass. I'll see when you guys show up. Okay. Perfect. Then. So then I'll get a call place for service. We'll have deputies out there to the to come and make a report with you and become an assist with trying to find your. Okay. Okay. Her mother and my. Um, they're going to the school to double check and everything, but from what we know, she wasn't there. So they should okay. be back. Uh, the mother and right her what? To the school to double check. Okay. Okay, her mother and my... Her mother and my... Um, they're going to the school to double check. Her mother and my... So her... Yes. And everything, but I'm an assist with trying to find your okay. Okay, her mother and my um, they're going to the school to double check and everything, but from what we know, she wasn't there, so they should okay. be back soon too because it's right next to the that's, school. Yeah, that's fine. So if if at least one of you remains there though, at, to meet with an officer, that's more than fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here. Okay, then. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am. And I'll go ahead and let you go. We'll be out there as quickly as we can, okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye, ma'am. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. 911, what is the location of your emergency? Um, okay. Police and medical. Hi. Um, I called not that long ago reporting a missing child. I just wanted to know how long the cops are going to take to get here. Okay, hold on, let me open up the call and let's see. The call is still currently pending to have the deputies respond out there, but we don't have any available deputies. We still have the call up, though, holding. Okay, so, so no one's on their way yet? Not yet, no. Mm, does it take long for them to respond to the call? If there's a big emergency in the area um, and there's nobody, there's no units available, they put the calls on hold. But as soon as one becomes available, they respond to the next pressing call. Unbelievable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we just need one here urgently. So I understand. Um, we still have the call. We still have the call holding. Is... Yes. Yep. We still have the call holding for them. I'll go ahead and update them with the information. All right, thank you, because this happened very recently, so we just want to get everyone here. She's been missing since 8 a.m., so we want to get everything done as soon as possible to try to find her. I understand. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. Now, one, one, what is the location of the emergency? Okay, what's going on, Vinny? Please fire medical. 
No, it's not a medical issue. We we have a missing child since this morning. We already called three times, and the police didn't show up yet. Are you looking? Or yes. Do you know? Okay. Yes. Okay, so thirty-two. Yes, ma'am. I see it right here for you. Uh, yes, ma'am. I see it. This is waiting for a deputy to respond. They haven't. They haven't come here yet. I, I'm aware, ma'am. I see it. It's waiting for a deputy to respond. You're waiting for a deputy to respond. Yes, ma'am. And how long would we need to? That's the grandmother, because that sounds way too familiar from the interview that I saw when she did when it was in Telemundo. I, that's the grandmother. That's the grandmother. I can I can definitely hear the similarities. I remember her voice distinctly. Absolutely. Um, Sandra Cruz with the 199 says, two points to the family for doing two things. I mean, yo, that I'm going to be honest. Like, you know, they did call. They did. The grandmother, you know, they did call. They did call. But damn, that deputy's, they, they fumbled. They fumbled. They fumbled, Sandra. Julie Shank says, just to be clear, this was in the early 2000s before the body cams when he could transfer inmates. No, I'm big, but I guess it's different. Sending love. Oh, probably so. Probably, I mean, that's 24 years ago. So you're probably right, Julie Shank. It's definitely different. But I completely understand you, though. 100%, Julie. Um, I can see how it could be different. Uh, thank you for sending, sending love, Julie. I appreciate that so much. Everyone is way too calm. Um, I'm going to be honest, guys. I, 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 it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Still those clothes though. That's, that's the one I, I, I can't wrap my head around. Ladies and gentlemen, the clothes, the clothes. That's important. The clothes, the clothes. That they did. Yeah, they did. They did. I'm not going to discredit people. I'm not going to do that. Daniela, she says, Jen's sister name is Steph. Yes, yes, yes. I, I remember. Yes, you are correct. Chat is on fire today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't hate me, but I'm going to have to do it because I, I did a late podcast. I'm going to have to end it for now. We did. Oh, we did two hours. I thought it was like an hour and like 10 minutes. We did two hours, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. 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 Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, guys. I am going to conclude my podcast with the beautiful, may she rest in peace, lovable little girl, Madeline Soto. May you rest in peace, mama. I'm still going to. I told you. I promised you. I was going to talk about your case, and no, I didn't forget about your plaque or your bench. I did speak about this with my mods. Turns out the bench costs like a thousand or something dollars. So we are going to stick with a plaque in her honor. Didn't forget about that. Trust me, did not. Um, but may you rest in peace. I'm still going to cover you. Trust me, we will learn the truth. Only you would know and stern about what really happened. Hopefully, we'll find that truth. I promised. I was not going to stop, and I'm not going to, okay? Tomorrow, guys, I will be covering the case of the two missing women because that case is crazy, and I'm not going to give up on that. Remember, guys, you too can become a member on Facebook and YouTube. Join the family. My goal is to hit first in total 600. That is the goal. I want to grow the Nova City Nation I want to grow, 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 grow. Um, Discord, join the Discord server. Join the server. Join the Discord. Join the family. Uh, there's a bench there for her memorial. I got to look at it. I got I, I to look at that. Remember, guys, if you have any of the information, send it to my Facebook or Discord, not my email. I will, I will be creating a new email for Novicity, for Facebook and YouTube together. So you guys can send your information there. Okay, I promise you, I promise you. And with this new e email, I can put your, what you got to say up front. It, it could be overwhelming, a lot. Um, you guys, Super Chats and Stars are, are on fire today. You guys sent some very important information. Jacqueline Waller, thank you for the 100 stars on Facebook. Congratulations to all the Facebook members who gained their badge today. Congratulations. 
When you send stars, you get an official star badge. Uh, congratulations. Um, Melly. <laughs> Melly, chill. Uh, Nicole Holder, good night. Good night, Nicole. We love you, Melly. We love you. Everybody in the chat, Laura Bra. If you got that badge, those crowns, even if you are a follower, you like, you shared. If you are a sharer, a liker, thank you so much. You guys are incredible. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Before you leave, the one thing, the last thing I'm going to say, guys, I am soon about to go live on my new channel. I'm going to go live here until I hit certain amount, and then I will be doing upload videos straight to Nov Cross. It has my name on it. It's my channel, my new channel. You can easily find it in... Uh, thanks for the updates, Nov. You're so welcome, Craig. You're so welcome. Remember, guys, you can find this page easily, easily, easily through the links provided. Co. anybody else? Look at our... Let me go pin it on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel, guys. I cannot say this anymore if you haven't. Subscribe to this new channel, okay? I would appreciate this so, 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 so much. You can even find the channel on my page here, Novesity. It's right here. It's listed exactly on the YouTube page, even on Facebook. As Breezy just, I will pin it right now. Boom, there it is. All right, guys? So subscribe. I will be submitting a video tomorrow for you guys about the eclipse. I went to do interviews. Just a, just a few interviews in the street of New York City to get people's opinion about the eclipse because some strange things are rumoring that what's going to happen. Probably the most scariest thing, what might happen, I was going to say this in a video, but I'm going to give you a little tease. The National Guard is being deployed on Monday. Now, I'm also thinking about doing a lie for the people who cannot see the eclipse in other states since I'm in New York City and it's going to somewhat cross my path. I'm thinking about doing a lie in Times Square, looking up at the sun, so you guys can view it yourselves through my lens. It's I'm thinking about it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I think we are all set to go. Uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the YouTube channel, for liking, for sharing. You guys are incredible. Thank you, guys. Um, get some rest. Have a good night. Happy early morning Friday. Good night, Saturday. Love you guys. And thank you for all who support the channel. I appreciate you a thousand ton. Oh, and don't forget, I, um, guys, I know who submitted the raffle tickets on Cash App and Venmo. Don't worry about it. I'm logging all your information in tomorrow morning, and I'm going to present it to show you that I have it later this week. I'm talking about the people who submitted their ticket for the raffle for the secret merch that's coming out May 1st. Congratulations for whoever submitted uh, I noted I note down your raffle, okay? Um, good night, Novan family. Go watch the replay. <laughs> All right, Laura. Thank you so much. You're the last super chat for tonight. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. What's your Discord? Uh, Mods, can you post a Discord on Facebook and YouTube, please? Just post a link and I will submit it. All right. I love you guys, like always. Oh, the Discord's in the, uh, the, the description, by the way. All right. Like always, guys, uh, do good, die great. I love you guys, and have a good night. I'll see you on the next one.